All right, hello everybody, welcome back. Today I am playing the weekly again. It's been a couple of days and <laughs> I've been doing a lot of, um, what, summon builds when I've been trying this because one of my first runs I went for Vulture and then like a slime and a bus and it seemed really good but then got killed by snipers. I've tried that several times since and my god, the amount of snipers, <laughs> they're just, they are everywhere. So I don't know if I'm going to try that again, at least, um, for this run, but there are a lot of other things I want to do. Like, I know scaling's meant to be pretty good. Like, if you can get, like, a load of ostriches, maybe. Or just monkeys. I wouldn't mind going for another monkey game. It's always fun. And I'm gonna buy this, and then I'm just gonna hard roll, because if we do find a combo, <laughs> I know we did. And I almost want to sell the bunyip again now, just to save money. Yeah. Okay, so not ideal, but, like, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We're on five. And we're actually okay here anyway. Yeah, that's a trophy. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Uh, Mermel's almost tempting, but no. I think I will take a dromedary, because that could be fun. Could even, like, cook this tier 3 if it's good. Elephant and anteater. Are either of those good? Let's see. I don't see blowfish. I don't see camel. I'm not sure what other <laughs> things are useful. So maybe just take the anteater. Yeah, we'll just take that. I'm not going to cook any of it. Um, Bigfoot. Oh, and Thunderbird. Give the two leftmost shot pets that. Okay, I think I'm going to just cook these for a little bit. And I don't know what to do. I'm going to throw it on you because you're going to stay, but yeah, I don't think that's actually a useful <laughs> a useful stat change. I think I'd rather have a lot of attack on my frontline guy. Well, him. But yeah, that level 3 amp buff is huge. Alright, so we're just going to keep cooking these. I'm just hoping to find um good food, really. And a combo. Great. And what, do this again in case I manage to find another one? Like a new one to stack on top to reset the attack. And you know what? Yeah, why not? Okay, we'll just keep doing that. Next time we're going to buy these. We'll combine there, buy those. Maybe maybe sell one of these two. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more, like, dromedary cooking. And we've been beaten. Fair enough. And we did find another one. Oh, let's just... Okay, never mind. We're going to keep cooking. <laughs> we're just, I'm not even going to combine the beavers yet. I'm just going to buy two more broccoli and stack that. Um, Yeah, I could maybe sell a mama set and then like start cooking a hooper bird instead. I wouldn't mind that. So let's get you out. Freeze you. We're going to cook those. We get to save our rolls for later and get a new one from this guy. And put you there. I trust that both of those... They can't both die, right? <laughs> At least one of them has to live. Okay, we do draw. I think that could have been a win if we had the buff go somewhere else, but that's that's fine. And yeah, I'm going to wait for a tier 5. I don't know if the tier 5s are that much better than tier 4s, but I, I feel like we can afford to wait, so why not? And yeah, let's just like, buy some random stuff here. So take one of those. Um, Yeah, just buy like the fig and the easter egg. I'm really not rolling for much other than another anteater, so... Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Just keep rolling. <laughs> Find the Antita. We're definitely done with the Dromedary next turn. I also had more rolls than I thought. Forgot about the extra... This guy one. Dude, the Monty value. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, double parrot. That could be useful. Okay, but first... Oh, chicken. Chicken with what? There's no mushrooms. I don't see Anubis. I think we definitely take the parrots either way. I don't really see a use for armadillo either, because I don't think there's any... Scorpion? No. No. So that's that's normally what I'd use that for. Um, I think we do get rid of Dromedary now. And I'm going to... Hmm, buy these first, then sell the beaver. And then, I don't know. I don't know whether I leave the Thunderbird. Like, it's big, but I don't think I sell anything else to grab it. Yeah. It's it's a shame, but I don't think we swap anything out there. We can definitely try and level you. Don't really care about pilling. And yeah, I want to try and chicken chicken scale the shop. It's gonna be weird. Why is my anteater at the back? Oh god. Hold on. I mean It's actually fine. Okay, not punished. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's, let's put you a little bit further forwards. Maybe like this, but still, there's only one thing behind the anteater that way. 
It's a little bit risky. Uh, deer is kind of nice, but yeah, I don't want to sell anything for it. Um, garlic on there would probably be very strong, so I'm just going to replace that. And I don't know, I mean, I could transform something, but I'm pretty happy with what we have going. I just want to try and find a level for the parrots. And you, that's nice. That's too many, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, if we can just survive with this, then we're getting a passive, like, 2 2 buff to the shop every turn. Which is very good. That was an amazing trade. And we are going to lose her, sadly. Very close, but yeah, they did get us. <laughs> and there are two combos. Very tempted to take the links, but yeah, let's see what these turn into first. And the white tiger and cobra. Cobra could be amazing behind the anteater. I think we sell Bigfoot for that. Although white tiger on these is pretty cool as well. Here's thrown behind plus three XP. The thing is, it's only going to level it up by one, and it doesn't actually help out in the fight. I don't know. Is there any other synergy for that? There is Team Spirits. Um. Yeah, no, I'm going to I'm gonna take the Cobra, I think. I think we sell Bigfoot. I'm going to stack this. And, oh, Early Ostrich, though. <laughs> early Ostrich is also very tempting. So that means we can just freeze high tier stuff, which I'm also very into. So we may sell the Hoopo Birds. Sell Hoopo Bird, buy Ostrich. Buy this. Hmm. Buy Lynx for this turn and keep... Yeah, keep the Cobra Frozen because I do want to buy that, but I want to have more tier 5s in the shop for this guy. So I'm going to keep you, you Frozen as well. You're going to scale by 3-3. Three, three. You're still scaling the shop. This is not bad. <laughs> I do like this. And this looks okay as well. Or maybe not. Nope, it's still okay. Amazing. Good, stole the game. I don't care. Just, <laughs> just let me get these guys really big. Okay, maybe I should have just frozen both, because maybe I don't need the Cobra at all. Yeah, maybe I should have frozen both. I'm just going to keep the Cobra frozen instead of buying that, I think. And that's amazing. Uh, let's throw down a banana somewhere. I'm going to put it on you, but yeah, I'm just keeping these frozen. Alright, that's a 5-5 five, five buff. We just need to find chocolate. If I can scale this by 10-10 a turn, then we're going to be loving life. And no, we're not okay. It's like perfectly not okay. If we had one more HP, it would have been fine. So you're tier 3, so Pretzel isn't going to be insane. Um, Do I unfreeze the shop? I don't really want to unfreeze the shop. Okay, hold on. I am going to buy the Cobra. I'm going to roll the rest, though. Um, Team Spirit's not terrible, but I'm going to leave it. Moose? For each tier 1 shot pets, yeah. You don't synergize with Ostrich anymore. I'm going to freeze it, though. I think I'm just going to throw that on there and then send it. Um, I could do it that way. But, I don't know. Do you sand to gain more hits? Nah, do it that way. If people are running, like, tons of crocodiles, then I'd much rather just <laughs> copy this one. Yeah, that was a crocodile. It wouldn't have been enough to kill the cobra, but... Yeah, potentially could have been bad. And if we get a, a few hits out of this, especially with the ants coming out. Right. <laughs> okay. Big snipe, but it hit my thing with like 1 HP. That is huge. I'm just... Yeah, I'm going to buy that immediately because I wouldn't mind rolling into more. We have another ostrich, which is amazing. Um, I don't know whether I abandon my chicken scaling now or not. Because like, I do want to swap in more, but it's not like it's that great. And you're not actually doing that much. But then that's not much of a <laughs> synergy either. I'm going to sell the Cobra. I'm going to buy this. Um, I'm actually going to unfreeze all of this. And I'm just going to roll and freeze like new ones that show up, I think. Yeah, freeze that. Oh, you're a high tier thing as well. Okay. Okay, I can get that one leveled up next turn though. So I guess I am going to keep chicken scaling the shop a little bit. But I'm really just hoping to find more Cobras. Not Cobras? Ostriches. I'd be all about that scaling if I can find more. And that shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah. Alright, six and two. I should probably just unfreeze these at the, at the end of my turns, because I, I don't want to swap them in. They are good, but... Yeah, just do this immediately. Didn't find another one, sadly. 
Yeah, I, I think we're done with chicken. I think throw one of these to the front, get rid of chicken, maybe play this. And then I'm going to freeze all the other high tier stuff, so we can still get 6-6 six, six out of both of these, because we're like, keeping an extra one there. Um, but I am going to unfreeze them now, and we're still rolling for more. Like, I could keep it like this, because, you know, 6-6, six, six, well, it's 12, 12 on each, really, is insane, but, like, they're going to hit the cap soon anyway, and I'd rather just find, find more. And yeah, I think <laughs> I think Parrot Sabretooth was definitely the play. Don't care about that. We did find another one, amazing. Um, sell you. Freeze, yeah, freeze Compator, because we, we're going to want to use that, I think. And I don't know, I should probably start freezing these as well. Oh, but then we <laughs> it's already locked up, though. Whatever. Maybe we'll find some useful food on this end. Not really, but like, it's fine. Okay. Swap these two around. Still gonna have my big one at the front and this massive overkill on the stats it was getting, but yeah, we can transform it. Hopefully it'll turn into something useful. Yeah, no, nothing nothing's beating this. <laughs> like even big snipes, I don't think are gonna take this down, so we'd have to run into another team that's also had just crazy scaling all game. I keep forgetting to unfreeze. Alright. Sauropods. Would I ever want a sauropod? No, <laughs> I need I need abilities. Unfreeze all and roll. So we do want more compato. Um, you're not too bad, but yeah, just just keep rolling. Keep rolling. Start freezing now, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna cap out soon as well. Hmm. Well, we didn't find another one. Um, I can water of youth you though, so you're gonna be capped out. So I think next turn we maybe... I keep freezing them. I keep leaving them frozen at the end of the turn, but I don't need to do that. But yeah, I think we try and transform you. We're going to try and transform this as well. And I maybe give up on the scaling now because they're both capped out. I guess I transform this one first because I may <laughs> get some value out of the, the other one. Yeah, we have one turn to try and turn these into cool things. So let's see what we get out of you. Um, Don't really care about that. I don't know, I could just like swap in random stuff, but like, I, I kind of like these guys. <laughs> Another ostrich. I mean, the answer is no, I'm going to freeze it, but yeah, A, Compato. Okay, so you're useful, we're not going to be leveling things, so we definitely need to transform this again. And that's better, I like that more. And I'm just not really worrying about the ostrich too much here. I'll freeze some stuff when it shows up, but yeah, I think we're good. I think this is the squad. <laughs> All right. No, they have a 50-50 as well. It's pretty good. They're not going to get many snipes out of it, though. Yeah, just two. That was a bad hit, but we're, we're definitely fine, right? Yeah, it's a draw. Not a win, but I'll take it. All right, so... I wanted to swap this in, but... <laughs> I... Yeah, I mean, let's, let's just do it. All right. Then I'm going to transform this again, I think. I could do you. Let's transform you instead. Like, you're at least giving me some money when I transform them. And that's interesting. Um, I could try and level it, but... Yeah, these are the only things that potentially are useful, and you're going to be triggering first. So, you only buff one thing. I think we do leave the chocolate, then. I'm not going to bother freezing any of this, because you're the only guy that benefits. I could buy the taco for one gold, kind of, and then transform the sauropod. I don't mind that. Oh no, because I don't get the money back on the last one. Oh well. <laughs> oh well, I, I think we're still good. We're just going to keep rolling for those. I'm kind of abandoning this guy. If he gets some scaling, then great, but I'm not freezing the shop for just one of them. Oh no. Nah, we're fine. Yep. Okay, solid scaling run. <laughs> Ostrich is pretty good. Even if everything is like individually harder to find, tier 6s and 5s, they're just as common as always. So, yeah, you seem pretty good. Fun run, fun run. Let's go again. Alright. Bunyip. Pig. Uh, fish. Solid first turn, and we're the moist aunties. Like, click that by instinct. 
All right, cool. Won the first round. Love it. So I can kind of doom roll if I want. And you know what? Let's buy a pill bug. I haven't been buying those recently. And I am going to keep rolling, because if I do find a potential level, then I drop that. And yeah, let's just sell this again immediately. And then I can save my roll for next turn. I could have rolled instead to get some extra HP on these, but again, this turn doesn't matter. It actually might have made a difference there. Like, from a... That was a loss, but... You know, a loss is the same as a draw. Really. And I don't know why I buffed both of those. I probably should have done it on the fish, but... Yeah, oh well. Doesn't matter. Not really interested in keeping a lot of this anyway. And honestly, I think I just start like pumping this. And Yak Koala. Oh, I want Yak Koala. <laughs> okay, so how does this work? Friend hurt, give it plus one plus one, works on time per turn, and then end of turn, take one damage and gain attack. Yeah, no, I, I think we <laughs> you run that for a bit. Alright. So you only work on yeah, shop tier upgrade. So we can leave you at the back this turn. But then I'm going to shuffle them in front of this and probably that next turn. And this is a win. Nice. It has been so long since I've done Yak Koala. I have missed it. Alright, so let's do that. Um, let's try and make this really big. Because I can just like make it massive and then maybe Competo later. So I could just invest really hard in that. And you know what? Let's do this as well. Let's just try and find some levels. All right, so start the next turn. This gives both of those plus one HP each, which is going to be very appreciated on the Yak. And I'm probably going to give the Yak Garlic just because it is kind of big. It won't help with its own ability or anything, but, you know, it, it is gaining HP very slowly. <laughs> uh, that is a level. We are buying that. And Cyclops. I don't know. I, I could freeze it, maybe, which makes it even harder for me to find the last level ups, but... Hmm. Hold on. I think... Ooh. Okay, let's go really crazy. I'm selling Peacock. I'm going double Koala <laughs> at least this turn. Let me move you further back again as well. And yeah, so now that takes one damage. It gains like 3-2. Like overall. Ah. Oh. Close fight, but yeah, we were just slightly behind there. And then I don't know whether to stack these and buy the Cyclops, because like, it's something nice to it, but I'm doing it this turn. I don't care. <laughs> we need this to be level 2 for more of, more of that. And yeah, Manatee. Manatee for the Yak. Yak would still trigger first, so I, I don't think I need to worry about the Koala accidentally buffing the Manatee. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep investing in <laughs> this guy. Okay. So, you're actually going to buff the manatee as well, but I'm okay with that. Unless I do something like that, but yeah, I think those two getting the pillbug stats is nice. And I don't know, I could freeze broccoli or something. Or guy like this, but I'd still rather just, like, banana the manatee, have that die, give me a monkey, and then I can just, like, monkey scale my frontline, this guy, forever. Also, I know I've been rolling garlic, I, I kind of forgot. <laughs> I wanted to buy it. Okay. Again, close fight. Yeah, probably not going to need that. Yeah, I don't care about the extra XP on here, so we'll just do that immediately. Um, Polar Bear could be very good if I find something worth scaling. I'm going to sell the Bunyip. I am going to buy this. And let's hope we can find something great. And honestly, it is fine. I'd probably prefer a Lynx or something. Or a Rootling, but... Yeah, this is fine. That's not bad, but... I don't know, I feel like a lot of people just aren't really using much equipment this week. And that's XP, but... Yeah, random frozen shot pet. I'm, I'm not going to risk it. Next turn, we can banana the manatee, and I may shuffle it somewhere else so it doesn't get the pill bug stats. Obviously, it's not happening this turn anyway, but... Yeah, next turn, I do want this to die. So I'm probably going to give, like, maybe you and the... The yak the pill bug stats. And yeah, glad I picked up garlic. <laughs> Very helpful there. Alright, so give that to you. You're going to trigger again. So I'd have to do it that way. Assuming I'm buffing the polar bear, and I think I think I am. So yeah, keep cooking this. Don't really need that. You don't do much. Well nothing helpful anyway. And I don't know, I could like broccoli this again. It's still helping keeping it balanced. 
And you know what? Maybe we go for level three, this guy. Like, the Yak's going to be staying for a long time. Like, <laughs> I don't mind keeping this thing around. And there we go. We have a monkey. I'm ready. They're also doing Yak Koala. My brother. Okay, I'm happy to lose to that team. <laughs> Anyone that does Yak Koala is a friend of mine, so yeah. Okay, I'm lucky that the deer got the hit there. Um, I think we maybe say goodbye to the pill bug now and buy this pretty big deer. And honestly, I'm just going to buy the sushi. I don't really care if I don't find another thing for you. Turns out we did find another thing for it, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yo, we can level it. Okay. So, I don't know what the best positioning is. Maybe you at the front and then kind of chain the rest like that? No, I needed you to get the monkey buffs. Yeah, so we'll run it this way then. And at least the deer is big enough to not have to worry about like other people's buses or something. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Yeah, this is just going to punch through everything. <laughs> Barely even died to that. Very strong. All right, so I'm leveling this immediately, I think. I can swap something else out and run like double, but yeah, let's do that. Hopefully we find something worth scaling. Um, Gorilla is very nice, I think. Uh, Linus is fine as well, but yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, I have to. Okay. And yeah, we'll leave those. I, I want to scale a gorilla, so we'll just sit on that for a bit. Shop is going to upgrade again, but yeah, no more pill bugs, so it doesn't matter. And yeah, I think maybe let this happen for like one more turn, and then we're looking for a compato. It's actually a monster. Like, the rest of my team got shredded by random snipey stuff, but <laughs> this yak. This yak just crunched it all. Alright. I mean, yeah, we can try and get a level there as well. I don't mind. I just want to sit on this a bit longer. I may have to freeze Competo if it shows up, but... Yeah, remove attack, give HP. Yeah, I'm, I'm still happy to do that. Alright. Send again. Keep cooking the, <laughs> the guy. Alright, so, yeah, if we find Competo, probably won't do it next turn. We definitely want one more turn of the, like, monkey and this guy working, but after that, we're definitely going for it. We're going to start rolling, hopefully roll into some, like, big thing. I'm going to hold this there as well. Yeah, just freeze Competo then. And, yeah, buy a hot dog. If it hits, like, either of those, then I'm kind of into it. Maybe even the monkey. Alright, yeah, that's nice. Oh, I can do it. Okay, I can do it twice. So this turn, he's going to be taking one damage. He gains 3-3 three, three from you and 2-3 from that. So he's gaining like 5-5 five, five or something like that. He's in a pretty nice spot. I'm not going to risk freezing any of these just because the, the polar bear will more likely to miss this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are done with the yak. He's practically maxed out. So now we just need to turn him into something good. Um, it is going to take quite a few Competo, because these two are only going to turn him into like a tier 4. But, yeah. Griffin, <laughs> nope. Go again. Oh, massive deer, I love it. I could even combine if I wanted. I could like stack these together and then... I think I do that, yeah. And then I can still roll and potentially free something for you. Or I can just see the tier 6 from the combo. Um, Trend on friend feints, resummon it behind this is 1-1. One, one. Works one time per turn. Is not terrible. I'll scale that, I think. Nah. <laughs> nah. Let's scale the Hydra. Hydra makes more sense. So, you're maxed out. We don't want to do anything with the monkey anymore. Um, yeah, I will monkey the gorilla then. And we need to get rid of this at some point, because we're not using the koala anymore. And yeah, we're just stomping these teams. This is the kind of team I was trying to get working, just a ton. And it <laughs> just... It doesn't work if the other team is running snipers. But if they're not, then you have a good shot at making it happen. And honestly, I'm just going to level this. Let's do that. And yeah, like keep cooking these. I could sell the koala to buy the small one and we can keep cooking this one for now. Because after I go for like level 3 gorilla, but I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that's incredible. So yeah, we'll just set that up. And you know what, maybe I do just go for level 3 gorilla. Hmm buy a drizzle fruit. Nah, let's buy a pie. Give you a pie. Leave the level. Hold on to Hydra. And send. 
Oh, they have a big team. And we're not going to get great value out of the Coconut Tama, though. Yeah, we're going to have to double trade into this. Ooh. Okay. It didn't matter. We're fine. <laughs> Alright, that was a fun game. I miss doing Polar Bear scaling. It's... It's fun. And we actually got some, like, decent value out of Competo. And we got to you do, like, Yak Koala again. So many old things I haven't touched in forever. It's great. All right. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.